In the four academies of ancient China, they believed in breath power or qigong. They thought that our natural breathing could be used through exercise to increase our everyday energy. But it is an exercise without any movement, as Lam Kan Chuen explains. Today, really wonderful day. I'm feeling very good. We again and come back here, beautiful Chinese courtyard. The tree building around me. I touch of nature. Again, I show you the first exercise of the five, the stand like the tree, how to get the balloon. Before that, everybody get up. Don't sit there to watch. Find out by yourself to join. Yes, right. Put your feet square. Stand up like me. Bend your knee. We do warm up. Place your hand, come on, and your hand away like this. We're swimming on the land. Breathe in and come. Breathe out when your hand away from your body. In your chest high to do it. Breathe in, breathe out. You are swimming in the land, in the air. Very wonderful feeling. Use your finger to touch all the air. You feel good. Keep it like that. Plenty time. You won't stop. Just come to the center. Slowly put your hand down. Don't move your body. Don't bother to sit down. Just keep going on with me. Your hand on the side. Your body like that. Remember, try thinking the air chair under your bottom, the balloon in there. You sit, support your bottom. You feel your weight in there really, really strongly. Feel good. Remember, we got one balloon, another balloon, two balloons. It's under your arms. You hand up your hand on the side. And your finger, not close, not open, just something in between. Same like last time. Try to remember that. Very simple, very easy. Just like that. Don't move. Yeah. And your head floating on top of your body. Don't hunch your shoulder. Make your chest very relaxed. Don't sticking out your belly like this, or also not sticking out your bottom. No good. Make sure you're quite right, and your knee not over to your toes. That's wrong. And come back in. And one other thing: use your nose for breathing, very gently. Deeply and naturally, very calm. Yes. Don't bother to give up. Keep going. Calm. Stay here. Yes. Do nothing, and everything is done. This is one of the riddles of Taoist philosophy. In the Songyang Academy, scholars saw that the pillars, with their outer strength and stillness, supported each building. But they said it is the empty space inside that creates the building's purpose. The emptiness is everything. Standing still looks passive, but it is this simple stillness which creates the space for us to relax and restore our energy through soft, natural breathing. Don't give up. Don't bother. Go to sit down. Stand with me. Very soon, you'll be fit for standing. A long history and philosophy doesn't always help to explain the enigma of Jam Jong, as Professor Yu knows. The most learned is that the Dao Ma Xiang went there. He called you to sit down. Just this one word. 就是站着是不许动，他说
，流的汗流的很多，夏天的，这个身上都湿了，但是越做越舒服，越出汗越舒服，越出汗越舒服，所以逐渐逐渐的对这个，那开始不相信呢，一点一点的慢慢感觉到身体好了，练一练身体好了，这逐渐才相信的，相信呢这个道理还是讲不清楚，还是道不清楚，后来呢就是，呃，和有些个体育界的老师和大夫一起那做实验，呃，感觉到这个。这种运动是东方的这个最古老的，就是从老子那方面的人来的，是最老两千七百年以前的，就开始有这个东西。嗯，但是一般人呢，就是不不容易理解，不容易理解。You look forward gently. Your ear can listen any noise acceptable. So means you can listen to soft music, or in front of the telly, we do together. In London, Lam Kam Chuen's standing still students also have to stand firm in the face of doubt and amusement from friends and family. Well, he's right, Ethan. Yeah, good, good. Well, my immediate family have got used to this now, but uh, people visiting uh, when I'm busy exercising, I've got so used to it that I forget that they think it's a bit odd and they give me very strange looks indeed. Standing still is, is hard work. I mean, I find it quite painful. It makes me sweat and I felt quite exhausted by the end of the classes. The first response of my family was just laughter. I had two, two young children who thought I looked very silly. When I try and describe what I do to friends, I think they're, they're incredulous. Um, but they see that I have lots of energy, so I guess they think there must be something in it. I'd been going through a period of stress at work, and I'd started Tai Chi. And then I heard that uh, Qi Kung would help Tai Chi and, and help stress. And, it, and indeed it did. You're fine, yeah. Before, a little bit. But now it's fine. Remember, lean, never, never lean forward. That's wrong. You do very good. I find it very odd at first. Uh, I was just standing. It was uh, quite painful to begin with. Um, and it seemed an odd thing to do. And uh, when I did it at home, people looked a little oddly at me. Some of them I, I, I can uh, persuade that this is uh, a good form of exercise. Others just find it so odd that they, they shake their heads and walk away. been stand for some time now drop all the balloon slowly stand up a bit and your hand drop down if you feel some feeling or tingling in your finger that's a good sign don't worry now let us do together the cool down exercise that you learned before circle around your hip that's very important. You can stand for some time. You need to do this to release the tension. Cut rise and then anti cut rise. Very simple, very easy to learn. You won't stop, in the middle, your hand come down on the front. That's it. All you learn, you got it. Very simple. Today, remember, you learn the special warm-up exercise. It's a swimming in the land. Your finger touch the air. Very nice. And same position like last time. This, mo gig. And the cool down one, one way, another way. Simple, just that, nothing more. Everyday events have the habit of adding stress to our busy lives. Even waiting for a bus can leave us frustrated and agitated. It's a feeling we all know.
but try breathing slowly and softly. Relax your body and adopt one of the standing positions. Waiting can become an impromptu exercise session, which nobody need notice. <laughs> 